Hello friends, this is a wonderful moment for search test. Today I have with me Dr. Yash Jain and Yash has got the ultimate rank number one in NEET SS Surgical Group uh, 2024-25 and it's a huge achievement. Congratulations Yash, how do you feel? Thank you, thank you sir. Thank you so much sir. Actually sir, uh, it feels unreal sir right now like uh, when I set on this journey, set on to this journey, uh, I was, uh, everybody hopes that they get a good rank, but getting a rank number one is actually uh, surreal, sir. So uh, the reality hasn't sink, uh, sunk in all, uh, uh, yet, but I think it's a great feeling, sir, to be here. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. I think, I think it's, it's, it's fantastic. Right? Uh, and um, tell me a little more about yourself, Yash. How did you start this journey? Where did you do your MBBS, MS and everything? Yes, sir. So, uh, so I, I hail from Odisha, sir, uh, from a small town named Kantabanji, sir. And uh, I did my uh, UG from KM Hospital, uh, Sages Medical College in uh, Mumbai, and my PG from uh, GMC Government Medical College in Nagpur, sir. And this is my first attempt for NEET SS, sir, 2024. And uh, now I plan on taking gastro surgery, uh, mostly in Delhi, sir, GB Panth. Fantastic, Yash. So I think uh, it's been a fantastic journey. Uh, so when I spoke to you also, I realized how motivated you were um, earlier on. Um, you've done both your MBBS and MS in premium institutions, government institutions. Do you think your MS general surgery training helped you in the exam or or was it not related to it at all? De definitely, sir. It helped me, sir. Definitely, definitely, sir. So because, sir, uh, up, up till second year, sir, I didn't study that much, sir. All I was uh, dedicated to wards and uh, learning new skills, learning surgical practice, seeing patients in wards. So up till second year, I didn't actually study, sir. That is only after in my third year, I started studying Bailey and Sabiston completely. So I think the major part of the last three years have been clinical wards and surgical practice. So definitely they have, uh, the exposure have helped me, sir. And in a direct way, uh, the questions are, uh, some questions are image based, some questions are intraoperative yeah. images, the clinical scenarios that are asked in the exams. So uh, though you can only tackle them or when you have seen them in the wards or when you have seen patient clinically. So I think the postings are immensely important, sir, and one shouldn't miss out on your first year, second year, the surgical skills, definitely. They're very, very, very important, sir. I think this is a very important point because a lot of students ask me, people who are just joining NEET PG, finishing NEET PG, joining surgery, do I take up surgery in a lighter place so that you know, I can study for NEET SS? And I think Yash has proved that the point is, you know, is irrelevant. Uh -huh. As far as I know, and I've spoken to a lot of people from GMC Nagpur, it is one of the most busy and it is, it is very hectic, sir. Yes, sir. It is extremely hectic. And uh, if you crack NEET SS in your first attempt, studying in GMC Nagpur, working in GMC Nagpur General Surgery Department, I think that's absolutely phenomenal because it's, it's very hectic, sir. Yes, sir. It's very hectic. The reality is that you manage to balance both time, but the clinical experience sir. you gain benefits you immensely in the preparation. And that's something which I strongly believe. Do you agree? Yes. De definitely, sir. Definitely, sir. Definitely. One shouldn't <laughs> miss out on those clinical. Uh, clinical knowledge out there, sir, definitely. Good. So tell me more about your preparation. How did you structure your preparation? When did you study? And what resources did you use? Yes, sir. So like I said, sir, I started studying main, mainly in my third year, sir. So the last eight months I started studying. I think I started on, a, on June or July of the last year. So that's eight to 10 months. So I started with videos, sir. First, uh, I watched all the videos, sir, all the videos there. Then, uh, so super specialty videos, gastro surgery videos, general surgery videos. So uh, first I watch videos. Uh, so people who are watching videos, they shouldn't be fearful that they are not remembering anything or the thing they have watched yesterday, they don't recall today because uh, it is a very volatile thing, especially the gastro part, the Sabiston part is very difficult to remember. So I was just watching videos, uh, not giving a thought whether I remember it, recall it or anything. Then I gave my uh, final ms exam on december sir and in the last three months i was completely uh, dedicated to study sir no work no posting no uh, no words so that is very important that the last three to four months you have to give to the uh, exam sir the exam demands it sir actually so the last three months so i started practicing mcqs way back like when i was reading today i was watching videos tomorrow i was practicing
practicing some mcqs like 30 mcqs or 50 mcqs so one should uh, start practicing the mcqs early so in the last 3 months sir that's very important period so i started uh, my revision in january 10th that is the time when i started my first revision sir uh, second sorry second uh, of course the uh, exam part and then the revision so i started revising everything and i started solving mcqs very 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 aggressively sir i followed your uh, instructions sir, that you should solve 100 mcqs every day so so i what i was trying to do is solve 150 mcqs every day some days i was reaching up to 200 mcqs so what uh, so the trick to doing that is i was placing my uh, solving mcqs early in the day so that i finish my target because there was the crucial part in the preparation so like 8 to 10 or uh, 10 to 12 i was doing just mcqs so i was solving nearly 100 mcqs daily for sure and some days i was reaching up to 150 and 200 mcqs uh, then uh, i was doing my revision as well and then finally i started uh, i gave my first gt in january only because uh, after my uh, final year M- ms exam so i started giving uh, gts very aggressively very very aggressively like i was giving two gts in a week or three gts in a week from multiple sources uh, solving mcqs also uh, i solved the search test uh, question bank completely i think it's a 2800 uh, or 3100 mcq bank i have solved not completely i've solved 2500 mcqs so uh, search test i was doing 150 100 mcqs daily sir so i was revising today i was solving mcqs tomorrow or in the night or in the morning so that was my priority so that is a very important thing that you should solve mcqs very aggressively give gts very aggressively so that is what i did sir and i think that helped me in a long time you think the search test mcqs helped you yes sir uh, so even uh, sir so search test mcqs so they pick mcqs from the previous years questions so i remember uh, i think the embryonal cell carcinoma uh, in uh, a question came so that was in the search test q bank sir so that uh, and then the gall bladder cancer uh, uh, tnm staging so those were in the search test so they uh, literally cherry picked uh, uh, those mcqs from the bank sir and uh, so my mentor uh, my senior sir aniket sir uh, actually suggested me to do search tests sir uh, because he has followed such test a lot and uh, and uh, he he told me to uh, do such test mcq bank and i did it and it was of great import great help sir great help good good uh, yash yash you been a uh, you know uh, speaking to you has been very motivating honestly and when i spoke to you on the phone also uh, you were talking about the real challenge is not just reading but it is conquering the mental barrier towards getting the top rank tell me a little more about it uh yes sir definitely sir so people think that uh, a lot of uh, students think that uh, uh, they are studying but they are not getting the marks they are not just scoring in the gt sir so so there that's where the mental game comes into picture so sir uh, like everybody out there is studying sir they are putting in the efforts uh, everybody out there 10 hours a day 12 hours a day somebody is studying 14 hours a day but the main difference between the top 100 or a top 500 ranker is that uh, they master the mental game sir so my mental what i what do i mean by the mental game sir is there were a lot of times where i didn't want to study or where i was scoring very less in gts or the topics i thought i was very strong in i was scoring less in those topics in some gts so that's where the mental game comes into picture sir so that's very important you have to tell yourself that no this is the topic i am weak i have to put in the efforts uh, so that's where the mental game comes into picture at the end sir in the last one month it gets extremely heavy on you that what should i study you are whether i should do this or whether i should do that you should calm yourself down you should think what is your weak spot you should so all that is part of the mental game sir and lastly sir in the in the exam sir the two and a half hours so it was uh, a very long two and a half hours so it went uh, like it was so mentally challenging you were uh, reading words for the first time like cerebral microdialysis and uh, all, all all those uh, words you are hearing for the first time so you get very anxious in the exam so that's where the mental game Terms, uh, like you have to deliver you have to perform in those two and a half hours so one have to work uh, in that mental game also sir so you won't believe sir for the like like one to two months i did yoga in the evening sir to strengthen the 
mental capacity sir because i, I heard from a senior that it's very important so uh, yes sir so that's very important one uh, one can also do is listen to previous toppers interviews so how they have done so that will also strengthen your mental capacity sir and of course the support system sir my parents were there my father was there sir all the time he is not a medico sir but he would find me that do this do that you got such marks so this is this can be your rank in the la in the gt do well and all and my friends are very important sir i think i think uh, you had a pretty wholesome family support system and a friend system definitely sir and yes, definitely accordingly you have taken instructions or you have followed the instructions of your seniors as well aniket and, yes, and, and, and think, uh, sara saran sir saran swakharia sir oh, uh, these two guys have been my constant mentors sir saran swakharia and aniket bhar aniket sir yeah i know aniket aniket very well so, so yeah yes, i think yes, sir. it's it's a, it's a very it's very important to you know um, a uh, calm your mind before going in for a major exam like this people totally underestimate the mental game to be honest and and uh, yes my personal belief is that people who follow some sort of physical activity it can be yoga it can be about 10 minutes of running every day it definitely allows more dopamine to flow into your mind and uh, you know you are able to focus significantly uh, you know much better than you're just sitting in front of the books because you you definitely yes. have- your neurotransmitters don't fire after a certain amount of time so i think that's that's been very enlightening uh, yeah yeah definitely definitely sir coming to the uh, little specifics did you read textbooks or did you not uh yes sir so i read textbooks sir <coughs> so i read bailey line to line from chapter 1 to the last chapter the transplant chapter i read it completely yeah one two chapters i left in the between so that is okay not a problem sabiston sir so so the Uh, people who are preparing for the first time might find less time for preparation and they can skip uh, this they, they tend to skip sabiston but don't do that in the initial part of my preparation i was thinking is sabiston important questions are asked only from bailey that is not true no, you not have true. to ha- that is not true sir i was misguided by some other uh, faculty sir but uh, yes that is absolutely not true one has to read sabiston so what i have read from sabiston is gi part completely and endocrine part completely cardiovascular here and there mainly from the videos vascular part mainly from the videos neurosurgery part mainly from the videos transplant i didn't touch from sabiston general surgery mainly from the videos sir so so this is this is it this is the extent of my sabiston reading sir but um, swords i didn't even open i didn't have the pdf i didn't have the book sir uh, all the my swords knowledge was from either from the gts or the mcqs or the uh, yes yeah, the really. bank is essentially from swords the endocrine part is so so you know you can <clears throat> it covers line to line the entire mcq bank so it's you know yes. it's that you cover yes. swords Uh, so, yes uh, right. so what i used to do is sir when i when i sort mcqs and i find a swords reference or a swords mcq i used to write it down take a photo so this is my swords book so i made a swords book all all uh, perfect uh, yeah. perfect because i didn't have time to read swords sir with uh, the final year ms exam and yes but one has to read the uh, standard textbook uh, more so in this exam sir like the endocrine part adrenals they have asked question line to line from sabiston they took line from sabiston thyroid they took line from sabiston the uh, medullary thyroid cancer gastro surgery sir 25 gastro questions 22 you can't escape reading uh, uh, yes, sabiston yes sir oh. 23 questions were from sabiston line to line absolutely absolutely in fact i keep telling people uh, i i i put out a lot of videos on instagram youtube and all please just don't stick to bailey bailey is not enough if you no, are sir, you, not enough, right? sir. you need sabiston gi surgery in fact even transplant i would recommend sabiston vascular i would recommend sabiston yes transplant sabiston yes sir yes and so now uh, after this exam i think i would also recommend uh, swords tables because they have asked that itp question was from a table in swords yeah you can, you can you can if if you can like someone is yeah. repeating they have time so they can yeah. read swords table but swords swords endocrine is also very important swords endocrine is also yes. extremely important so you definitely need to spend time reading uh, uh, standard textbooks bailey standard textbooks sir is too basic at times for the general surgery part you need bailey and then you go back to the videos searches videos and the uh, mcq bank which covers points from sabiston and this thing but you definitely need it you can't escape 
the the entire thing you you have to read those lines in service standard exactly take those lines and put it in the mcqs absolutely so, absolutely yes it will click you only when you have read it two times three times from sabaston true 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 in fact when i was preparing <clears throat> when we me and dr gopi gopi is a gi surgeon with my yes, staff yes <clears throat> we used to you know go line by line from sabaston uh, bailey and you know try to make sure that you know all those points are incorporated in the mcqs and and yes. the entire we created such tests when we were actually preparing for mch and it kind of helped us in our mch exams as well so so what i'm trying to say is that don't just stick to bailey bailey no 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 bailey just bailey alone is not enough so i think that's a yes. take message uh, uh, for your preparation and also sir there are some people who tend to overdo sabaston and not read bailey so that is also a very wrong strategy sir bailey is basic because you have to read bailey completely really you have to read bailey like cvts we saw like there were questions from every every page from bailey absolutely <coughs> yes okay. so that's very important bailey you can't skip and sabaston you have to read It is not an option, sir. You have to do it. True. If you're aiming for a top fifty to hundred rank, you definitely need. Yes, to sir. A good if rank. You have to. If you're thousand to two thousand rank, then it's Haan, a, then you can skip service ten. Yes, then sir. You can skip service ten. Then just stick to uh, doing MCQs and all that sort of stuff. But otherwise, you need to feel focused. So, yes, 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 sir. I won't take too much of your time, but I want to ask you one thing. What message would you like to give uh, students who are preparing for the exam? Uh, yes, sir. I think the most. Uh, crucial thing in my journey was and what i would suggest to all other students is start early decide for yourself what do you want to achieve in life whether you want to do super i have seen people who are in two minds ki exam aaya de denge thoda pad lenge last ke 2 mahine it is not going to work like that if you want to get a 200 300 rank you have to start early you have to decide yourself for early decide decide for yourself early like i decided in the late second year that i have to do gastro i want to do mch so that is a very important thing that you have to start early and decide for yourself what do you want to do don't be in two boats uh, so if you have uh, so that is one thing second thing is don't fear mcq sir i have seen people they fear mcqs like uh, they only solve from one platform don't do that that is a big mistake All, all platforms master in something, sir. So you need the exposure of all the platforms. So don't fear MCQs. I also I also did this mistake in the initial part, sir. That I sort of fear MCQs. Ki MCQ nahi karenge aur jada wrong ho jayega. So don't do that. Uh, remember that the mistakes you do here are the mistakes you are not going to do in the exams. Absolutely. So that's very important, sir. So, so decide for yourself early do a lot of mcqs give a lot of gts how many you can i have given sir 30 to 35 gts from different platforms some various platforms that's very important go aggressive in your preparation and go aggressive in the exam also like take hints from the question what the question is asking you the answer is right there so go aggressive in the exam attend a lot of mcqs don't leave i left three mcqs only sir so that's very important sir Fantastic, fantastic, Yash. Yash, final question: What do you see yourself doing ten years down the line? Sir, uh, I <laughs> see myself as a gastro surgeon. I want to do complex procedures, sir. That that's the reason I I took gastro surgery, sir. That I I want to operate on complex tumors and uh, big big surgeries, laparoscopic and robotic surgeries. So that's my aim, sir, in my life. Fantastic, man, Yash. I think I really hope to God and pray that you. you have your all your dreams come true uh, you are Thank a you, sir. very humble and a hard working student and i'm really proud because i have seen you interact in the groups um, whatsapp groups i've seen you uh, i've spoken to you and uh, i would say you are an inspiration to me the kind of uh, preparation you have done you are an inspiration not just to uh, all the students but you are an inspiration to people because students like you motivate us to run this platform students like you are the biggest motivation for us thank you so much yash thank you sir thank you sir thank you ma'am